So uh, thank you very much for the invitation. Uh, this, it is my great pleasure to be here. Uh, the first, because of my wife's health, I'm cutting down my uh, conference trips very much. But you know, when I receive this invitation for Boris, I have to come. And uh, so I'll talk about today uh, this topic, coherent quantum phase slip uh, in, uh, happens in thin wire. And uh, same means uh, in the order of about uh, 20 nanometer. So very appropriate for this conference, nanoscience. And uh, well, this work, main part of this talk, the result was uh, obtained uh, about uh, two, three, three years ago. And since then, or recently, uh, my lab in NEC, I, which I built up for 30 years, was uh, terminated. And I am retired from NEC 100%. And the whole lab is moved to Recan, and I have starting a new lab at the Tokyo University of Science. So uh, what I want to say is uh, lots of the work I want to continue, uh, it's not uh, uh, really finished. But I do have some new results that I can show you, some DC results. And uh, yeah, I think Boris still, well, both of us was working as NEC fellow, and I was functioning at SCUBA, and Boris was in Princeton, but I'm retired. I think Boris still has some connection with, no? <laughs> okay. Now, yeah. so, uh, so what is uh, coherent quantum phase slip? Uh, this is some effect uh, exactly dual to Josephson tunneling. And uh, I can depict uh, some, some concept of this. So degree of freedom in superconductor. Uh, we have phase and uh, charge and everything else is mostly frozen. And in Josephson tunneling, we use, in this picture, uh, we have two superconductors separated by a very narrow gap. In this case, it's a space and insulating barrier for Cooper pair. But it tunnel happens, and uh, you have Cooper pair tunneling if the gap is narrow enough. And the conjugate of that, in picture, we can draw a conjugate by changing black and uh, white. Now, so, so you have superconductor uh, two piece connected by a very thin, narrow superconducting wire. And this, now this black part is space. And uh, one can have flux quanta tunneling, coherent tunneling, quantum tunneling through here. And uh, so when uh, this effect is abrupt, uh, up stopped, one can have, uh, in this case, flux quanta flowing through across uh, tonal junction this way. And also, when coherence is stopped, you can have a charge transfer in this way. And, well, and 50 years means from the original proposal of Josephson to until the, this experiment we have done uh, a few years in back, it took 50 years to, to see this uh, two effect, which are exact conjugate. 
to each other. So, uh, okay, so what, what is this? Ah, so if you see this, uh, this is a great wall of China, and you see a lot of tourists walking around. And is this wall, barrier, or a pass? It can be pass or barrier. Uh, depends on what your, the, the prospect. So uh, Josephson Junction and uh, CQPS means coherent quantum phase slip uh, compared to that. It's a barrier for horse rider and charge and flux in these two cases. And uh, it is the pass for defending soldier and flux and charge, vice versa in this case. And uh, dual exact duality was uh, discussed by uh, Mui and Nazarov in in 2006, that uh, this is typical Josephson Junction, and the IV curve looks like that, and this is simulation. And uh, with microwave radiation, you start to see the Shapiro step nicely. And uh, conjugate of that is uh, CQPS voltage can be written exactly like that. VC is some characteristic voltage. And uh, we have sine here and 2 pi Q. And Q is uh, Cooper pair transferred. And it's a continuous quantity, as, just as in phi. And uh, kinetic capacitance is, can be defined, just as in kinetic inductance in this case. And Shapiro step can be uh, seen. And this is simulation, because equation is the same. Of course, you have the same result, except the voltage and the current is uh, reversed. And you see uh, very nice Shapiro steps. And since this is a coherent, phenomena, uh, you can drive them very fast with gigahertz. So, okay, so, uh, so this can be uh, used as a voltage standard and this is being used for many, many years already. It's the international standard. Uh, I can discuss this later, but uh, we still don't have any quantum current standard, and this can be a, certainly a candidate for a quantum <laughs> current standard. And uh, duality of Josephson effect, uh, this could be something similar. Uh, you have a char charge, this is Josephson John. Josephson Junction, charge transfers, and uh, this is Josephson energy, and this is Josephson inductance, kinetic inductance. And uh, uh, you have uh, flux coming come out here, and also in this, oh, this is uh, some invented sign for uh, face slip device, and you have flux flowing this way, and you have some trace of charge appearing there. And uh, phase slip in superconducting narrow wire uh, was, has been studied for a long time. Uh, uh, typically, the, the thermal phase slip has been known for a long time. Uh, if you have a strip of superconductor, you pass, uh, you drive it by, uh, a drive through this uh, with external current, you start to see IV curve like this. 
at certain current, uh, the weak point of this uh, supercurrent, the, the phase cannot be uh, sustained and you start to flip and it keeps flipping and that will develop voltage and by passing more current, you start to, uh, another phase flip center appears. So you, you typically, you, you can observe this kind of IV characteristics. And uh, in Tinkham's textbook, it was described by, okay, the other parameter in this thin wire, if wire is thin enough, uh, much thinner than the penetration depths, you can see this, uh, uh, you can draw imaginary part and real part of this other parameter. And this axis is X, uh, it's, it's the, the space of the wire. And uh, all the, the, so face rotates, but if the, the current is strong enough, uh, the face start to wind and wind and wind, and finally, uh, you, uh, before it, the face slip step, uh, starts, this, uh, the absolute size of the other parameter shrinks, and at this weak point, it, the face starts to flip two pi. And this is the picture, uh, uniform solution. Non-uniform, yeah. So this is when how phase slip starts. Uh, ah, okay. That's that's phase slip. Uh, yeah. Okay. When it happens, the flux quanta can flow across the strip. And uh, so detect. Uh, Okay, so this is thermal phase slip, but uh, if you have quantum mechanical effect, one should see some very small structure here at the zero current. And uh, this has been trying to observe for a long time and it was not without success. And uh, so later, Mui and uh, Hermans suggest to see this effect, maybe we can implement this wire in uh, flux qubit structures and to see quantum coherence in this system. And, and uh, with this method, you uh, one can demonstrate this uh, face slip very easily. And uh, this structure is exact dual to the charge qubit. And in charge qubit, this is island, this is visibar, uh, can be much larger, and, and uh, 2E can go in and out in coherent fashion and making charge qubit. So in experiment, one should see this is overlapping parabola either for flux, uh, either for uh, magnetic energy or the charging energy. But if you have coherence, one should see uh, energy gap opening up here, uh, lifting up the degeneracy. And this is the design of the experiment. So when we design the uh, uh, qubit, face slip qubit, we were following the example for for charge qubit and flux qubit, one, 
a necessary condition for uh, R qubit is that uh, uh, Josephson energy is, okay, this is charge qubit and uh, flux qubit, but uh, here, for phase qubit, the inductive energy has to be, I mean, the magnetic energy of the loop has to be larger than the coherent energy uh, at the phase slip center. So this is the fundamental design of the qubit. And also the materials, how do you, how small has to be the wire? What's the material? We thought about this uh, with the help of uh, Leviofe and other theorists. And uh, in, uh, so uh, I guess this is the, in BCS formalism, the phase slip energy can be uh, written in this way. Uh, the tunneling probability has exponential dependence on uh, this is quantum resistance. A is the cross section, if this is a wire, and A is the cross sectional area. So narrower is better. And here, down here, rho is the resistivity of the material uh, uh, above TC, of course. Above TC, you have rho. And the larger the rho, so it's higher the resistance of the superconducting wire, namely bad superconducting system. Uh, something close to the superconductor insulator transition. Uh, so uh, very disordered material, it's, it's better. That means uh, the disordered the superconductivity cannot really, uh, I mean, you can pass through the flux easier. Uh, Xi is the coherent length. So looking at this, uh, it's, uh, not uh, a we can make it as small as possible, which is like uh, 20, ten or twenty nanometers. But we can choose uh, roll, uh, choose some bad material. Uh, okay, this is Josephson energy. So what we did was. Uh, Choosing the initial experiment, we picked indium oxide film. Uh, this was made in Israel. And the thickness if this film was about 35 nanometer, TC if about 2.7 K. Uh, sheet resistance is 1.7 kilo ohm, it's very high. And uh, uh, Okay, this is, yeah, well, this is the usual superconducting phase diagram. You, uh, low field below this critical field, low temperature and uh, low resistivity, lower than RQ, you have superconductivity. And we should pick some material right below here. And this is the material choice. And uh, the experiment was done in this way. This is, so we put uh, the face slip qubit, flux qubit, in a cavity uh, to, so, Qubit in the cavity is a very uh, standard way to ca characterize the qubit and very convenient and established. So this is what we do. And, and uh, the cavity was made of gold. And this is all gold, the ground plane. And this, there are two center lines coming out. 
And there's a very thin uh, indium oxide central wire. And if you expand that, you see this is indium oxide. And in the center, we have a qubit. This is qubit line. And here's a very narrow uh, <coughs> wire, nano wire. Uh, uh, typically, in this case, it's 40 nanometer. And uh, over here, we put uh, indium oxide film uh, right on top of gold without any uh, designed capacitance. But because thickness is so different, we have a huge impedance mismatch. So this part function as a cavity. And uh, so the experiment is trying to see this uh, gap in the spectroscopy experiment. Hmm? What happened? Hmm? Why this is not? Something's wrong. Uh, OK, so this is the resulted uh, spectroscopy. Uh, the technique is called two-tone. You, you put two different frequency, and uh, you see the, the transmission. And uh, this dotted line is fitted, fitted. And as you can see, there's a clear uh, gap about uh, 5 gigahertz. And uh, uh, the size of the, the critical uh, screening current, or critical current, is about 24 nanoamp. And we further uh, try to see the, uh, the larger uh, spectrum up to, uh, like, uh, let's see, 80 gigahertz. So we are sweeping a wide range. For this kind of uh, experiment, we have to use two photon, three photon, something fancy uh, experiment. The signal was rather small. But the reason we did this is to see a large area uh, all the way to uh, sweep into the next uh, charging state, I mean, uh, flux states. And uh, there's a little, little dotted line uh, drawn here. This shows uh, in this uh, flux qubit line, the thin wire, if it contains some occasional Josephson junction, like in grain boundary. Uh, one, so, some, so this is a Josephson effect. And Josephson effect also can have similar results. But uh, if that is the case, uh, at, it will show here. Something will happen here. But it doesn't. It, it really uh, modeled as uh, charge qubit rather than flux qubit. So we know this is a phase slip in this sense. And, uh, and later on, we try to use other materials uh, instead of indium oxide, which is uh, evaporated later on and lifted off. Uh, instead, we try to use harder material, which is easier to handle. And uh, so we use uh, titanium nitride drawn at uh, Delft, at Klaplix group. And uh, also we use niobium nitride film drawing uh, Moscow. Goldsmans group. 
And this is typical, oh, this is ni ti uh, titanium nitride. Uh, we use, uh, this is already bad. We use something like in here. This is temperature dependence of the resistivity of the different thickness. And we can pick particular thickness. I think these are, well, I don't exactly remember, but some of these films were used. And uh, so this is the etched nanowire. The thickness is roughly 35 nanometer. And it's, uh, we put the mask and etch. And uh, as you can see, it's not exactly uh, uniform. We have some jagged edge, uh, which was inevitable from our fabrication technique. And uh, this is niobium nitride experiment. We put many qubit in a, uh, one cavity, and all of them has different area, so we can distinguish which one is which, and we have different size and lengths, width and lengths. And so in one shot, we can get lots of information. We have many qubit uh, for, with maybe 50% of the qubit work and 50% didn't work. But anyway, you, you get a lot of information. For example, here we have one, uh, one, two, one, two, three, maybe three qubits here. And the purpose of this kind of study is to see the, uh, tonaline probability, exponential dependence of the tonaline probability, we change the width and see how consistent or how reproducible is this and see uh, uh, the characteristics. And this is the result. Uh, so the purpose is to see this dependence uh, on width, uh, average width of the wire. And this average width <laughs> is in this x-axis. Y-axis <coughs> is the, uh, the energy that we found in this um, uh, spectroscopy. And uh, we have a lar rather large scattering uh, of course, uh, exponential dependence is very hard to uh, do the uh, achieved experiment uh, because the reproducibility uh, it's not so good, and also you have non-uniform wires. But, uh, no matter the reason, we have a rather large. Um, Scattering. We have two samples, A and B, and uh, made in different way, but still. But so then we have two. Uh, this dotted line and black line it was a fit uh, using different uh, different model, and uh, this. Red, line, uh, red dotted line is using this disordered superconductor model, and, and this is the relationship. And uh, the black one is using BCS-like model, and this, this is the relation. And uh, the good, uh, both of them can be fit like this. <coughs> And the important part that I like, five minutes left. Uh, so, including the, the questions? No, all right. Okay. So, 
eta is uh, a constant here, and a is constant here. And theoretically, they are supposed to be in the order of one. And uh, we found uh, this is very close to one unity, so we are very happy. Uh, OK, let me move ahead. And uh, this is another material. We do the same thing. And also, we can draw, uh, see the dynamics, not only the spectroscopy. We can uh, see the dynamics uh, of the Rabi flip. Uh, so this is uh, flipping 0 and 1. The decoherence time is not so long, roughly in the order of uh, 10 nanosecond. Very short. I, I suspect uh, this kind of material has uh, lots of decoherence source. Uh, lastly, uh, we try to see the DC measurement. Uh, the, the experiment is not finished yet. It's ongoing. and. Uh, the, the postdoc doing this left, so we are st start, starting, uh, thinking of to restart. But anyway, uh, we have many different samples. This is IV, and uh, here is many. Uh, this is the resist resistance of the sample, and the higher resistance sample shows uh, blockade. And we're changing geometry. And uh, as the resistance gets smaller, you start to see superconductivity. And uh, this looks good. And, but then we try to shine microwaves. But and at that time, uh, not exactly sure, but maybe how the design was bad. Everything heats up and cannot really see anything. So this is the status of our experiment, and then, OK. Let's see. So compared to Josephson uh, electronics and single electronics, single electronics is using you know, control uh, digital, digitally by transfer of one single electrons. And uh, uh, partial the other. This is using small Josephson, a uh, small tonal junction. And uh, so you have Coulomb blockade device. Uh, one, uh, so switching time, if you compare this, this is coherent device. So switching time is RC. It's typically it's picosecond in Josephson device. But if you, in the tunnel junction for a single uh, Coulomb blockade type of device, it's a st stochastic tunneling probability. So you have to wait for a long time to, to satisfy digital electronics requirement. You really have to reduce the error rate. That means uh, the switching time is, can be, you know, you have to wait for nanosecond or even more. The slow device. That was the basic, uh, one of the problem of, the, of this device. But, uh, since we have exact duality if in the, uh, the coherent phase slip device, uh, if you estimate the uh, switching time, it's about, again, this is L over R constant, but this is order of picosecond. So it's much f supposed to be much faster than uh, the Coulomb blockade type of device. And pumping. Uh, as I said, there is no quantum current standard, and there are so many different uh, competing device working. I will not go into introduce uh, all of them because short of time. But anyway, uh, here also this face slip is one candidate. And if you look 
Uh, okay, so we have a voltage standard, quantum voltage standard, and uh, quantum resistance standard. And uh, so David Salas uh, wrote a book about topological quantum numbers in non-relativistic physics. So at least in non-relativistic uh, uh, regime, these uh, in quantum Hall effect doesn't have any correction. It's one minute, okay, I'll be finished. And Josephson effect, this relationship doesn't have any, couldn't find any uh, correction. So that's why they are successful as the standard. Uh, so, uh, so this is arguing that uh, they have topological protection. And uh, okay, and now so if if this uh, face slip we have a competition, but uh, if face uh, face slip device is is uh, exact uh, conjugate, uh, it it should provide. I mean, it, it could have topological protection also, and can it can be a good candidate for or best candidate for, for uh, current standard in this sense. And uh, OK, I'll, top, I'll skip this topological protection. Uh, yeah, in Josephson effect, it's also topological in time. You know, the face is winding in time. And uh, so conclusion. Uh, coherent quantum phase slip has been experimentally demonstrated, and we, we can have different materials. Uh, DC characterization is going underway. Uh, thank you very much for your attentions.